All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Death Stranding. My name is Raisin Brand. So I did the rest of the deliveries for episode six for Dead Man. Our BB is fully recovered, but apparently Dead Man wants to keep our BB, BB twenty eight specifically. He wants to keep him for just a little longer. Don't know why. It's for science, you know. Da -da, he's a scientist. Um, but. You know, there's obviously something about this BB that is very different and very unique compared to the rest of the BBs that, you know, the bridge babies that are there. And something that I noticed, Sam called the baby Lou. And he, because like, as I was doing the deliveries, and you've probably seen that in the last episode, when we were doing deliveries, when we were riding the vehicles up the mountains, oh yes, all that fun stuff, um, he kept saying Lou. Lou in referring to the baby that is within the jar. So it's interesting that the baby's name is, that he named the baby Lou. It's a, it's a really good name. It's a really cute name. Um, so I had finished doing everything I needed to do delivery wise for episode six. And we were told to meet Dead Man in a cabin in the mountains. I'm at the cabin now, but there is another uh, vortex of a tornado that is appearing in the sky because as we recall when we went back in time back into like that time when we were in World War One and all that fun doohinky we got caught up in some twister there's another twister happening here so we're gonna be going back in time again I don't know but let's just watch and see what the fuck is happening because I don't I don't know here's the cabin No, I, I want to come to you. And that's a whale. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Um, should I be concerned? I think we all should be concerned. Because, uh -huh. all right, it's just loading uh, the game, it seems like. But yeah, let's see what the frick's happening. Oh my gosh, like. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Are we in World War Two now? Is that what's happening? No. The combat veteran is not my best friend. What the fuck? What in the hell? What's on that? There's stuff, there's stuff dripping behind you, dead man. I don't. Uh oh. Alright, I think you're fine. I think it's just water. gonna get a visit from the combat general. Oh good. Oh peachy. Oh fun. Oh my god. I just don't know what's happening. He did go back in time. Yes, this has happened. I'm seeing these mechanic, like these toy babies. 
Now that one seems to be blinking. Toy babies! Combat veteran, or general, or whatever the fuck he is. Yeah, the, the real, you know, fun guy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're in the distance. Oh, they're in there. Oh, they're in the tunnel. They're in the sewers. I see them. They're over there. Oh, you're coming closer, aren't ya? Oh, good. Oh. Oh, it's your soldiers. That means you're here. There you are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you've got your night vision. This ain't World War II. You don't have the technology. You didn't have the technology back then. Oh. 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 Yes, let's have those burn again. Baby, wait a minute. That baby has that, you know, scar that was on not only him but on Sam as well. Oh, I don't like that. Don't look at me like that, you know. Episode seven, Clifford. Oh, Clifford, like the big red dog. Are we gonna get a visit from Clifford, the big red dog? Oh, goody, goody, goody. Where's T-Bone? Where's Cleo? Where's Max? Where's all the other friends with Clifford? Oh boy. Is that your friends that you've got in your circle? <laughs> and where's Emily Elizabeth and all of this? And they, I don't think she would approve. Oh my god. Alright, well it seems like I'm gonna have to do some more fighting and war. Oh god. Sam! Sam! Yeah, it's right here. Dead man. Oh, thank god I got through. Yeah. Where are you? No idea. I'm seeing tanks and soldiers. The uniforms date back over a century. World War II era, I suspect. La wow. Uh, did you see the man leading the soldiers? <laughs> yeah. No. I think it's the guy you told us about. <gasps> the born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB. <gasps> he must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. Yeah. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Okay. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. Okay. I can see a tower through a hole. A square tower. Right above my position. Okay. Gotcha. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. Okay. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Eee. Oh no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. You'll lead him straight to you. Yeah, you oh, can't. boy. Uh, you Not did. that you would, since you hate them. Well, I he... just did because I was scared to death. <laughs> Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. Oh my god. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? This is sad. If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... <sighs> you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. No wife, no children. No so one cares so about your me. life. Blah, blah, blah. I will get to you when I get to you. Alright, well, it seems like that we are in a war time, criminal time. Alright, well, we've got ourselves a shotgun, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the shotgun. Alright, skittish. Man, this is crazy tough. Give me all that. Oh my god, there's a tank. Oh my god. Alright, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go around you. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're gonna just go around you. Oh my god. 
Excuse me. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, man. Let's move on forward. Hi, you. Hi, you. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh my God, and there's a dead fish. Oh my God. Did you? Um, where would you like for me to go? I'm just confused. Head for the entrance to the sewer from near the top. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Isn't that down here? Yes, that's down here, right? Yes. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why are you on the ground, Sam? Come on. Excuse you. Oh, come on. Isn't that the entrance? Oh, come on. Excuse you. Oh, there were stairs here. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, here's the sewer. Excuse me. Alright, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> it's a darky. It's a darky do. Alright, well. This is fun. Alright. Well, we made it in the sewer. Let's go find Dead Man because Thank apparently. You. I'll see you soon. Yes. See, Lou. Lou. That is the name of the baby that he has given. Yeah, that's the name he's given to the baby. So. Okay, well. We went from. We are now in World War II. Fun times. Whoopity doo da. Whoopity day. Can, can, can you can you go any faster than this? This is just ridiculous. Yes, I hear you, bats. I understand. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Clifford, the big red dog, is coming to stomp on my ass. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, boy. And he's got his whole posse. Cleo, Max, T-Bone, and probably Emily Elizabeth. Hi, my name's Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. It just reminds me of, like, you know, you know, like the TV show from when I was younger. Oh, my gosh. I hear him. I hear him. Yes. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. Shut up! I am trying to find my way. <sighs> Hold on. Alright, hold on. This is very poorly lit. I have to figure out how to get to you. Just give me a sec. Oh. Through here. On. On, on, I'm coming. All right. Sam, over here. Sam. Why are you in the bars? Lou. <laughs> Hi. The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh. Oh, well then. Uh oh. Clifford's a stomping above us. No point. Clifford's a stomping, a stomp, a stomp. This is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Yeah, maybe. Get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned baby by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. Wait. So, do you still share memories? It's not working. <sighs> I see. Oh, boy. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. Okay. 
I'm taking him down. I should get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. Uh-huh. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? Ah, yeah. Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Told you. His Lou. name is Lou, motherfucker. That's a good name. <laughs> yeah, don't get your head stuck. And there he goes. Okay. Alright, well, we got our baby back. Alright, well, we did Order 54, which was joined Dead Men. Alright, so let us continue onward. Escape from the sewer. You got it. Alright. So this episode, episode 7, supposedly only has two orders. So we're gonna get the entirety of episode 7 in this episode. Oh, ah. Your dolls again in a spider web. What's with you? Why is that? Like, no. Like, what the fuck is this? Uh. Why are you weird? Uh. So I'm assuming your name's. Oh, you've got your joints again. <laughs> I feel the power. Okay, I don't understand. Why? Why? Why are you like this? I'm assuming your name's Clifford. I'm just gonna go with, oh, here's your posse. Oh yes, Cleo T-Bone Max in there. There you go, Emily Elizabeth on the end there. There you go. All right, Clifford. I'm gonna fuck you, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, defeat the boss indicated by the orders. All right, you got it. Ooh, assault rifle. Let me have that. Yes. Alright, let me just do it. Excuse me. Defeat the mysterious man. Alright, well, actually, I want to just shoot from here. Assault rifle. Yes. yippee ki yay, motherfuckers! yippee ki yay, bitch! yippee ki yay! Oh, I'm killing your whole posse! Oh, well. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, was I firing my blood? Oh, I I didn't I didn't think that was that that was the case. Okay. Well, I'm gonna carry the blood bags. Oh, there's a shotgun. Is that a shotgun? I'm gonna assume that's a shotgun. Yes, give me that. Any weapons will do. Alright. Alright. Um. I was born. Okay, okay. Well, I was too because I'm fucking Norman Reedus, bitch ass, alright? Um. What is with these whales? Oh my god. You love to proclaim your love to dead whales. I, I get it. I get it, okay? Skittish. Alright. Skittish. Skittish, come on. 
find so basically we just have to shoot him just shoot him up i love these kind of orders when you just have to shoot up people yeah you know what i say to that no fuck you his name is lou uh-oh hi skittish no All right, well, it seems like I'm out of that. Uh, ooh, shotgun, yes. <laughs> nice. We need reinforcement. No, you don't need reinforcements. You don't need your reinforcement, you silly, silly. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, my baby. Excuse me. Hi. The doink. The doink. The doink. Baby. Oh, that's it, right? Defeat the mysterious man. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, Clifford, you're not so tough. Yes, have a bromance moment. This is so intense. Oh. Uh oh. What's happening? See, we haven't seen one of these cutscenes in a while with you. I'm trying to remember if you were... I'm trying to remember if you were injured by, you know, a gun of some sort. Okay. This dude here, that's on the loading screen. His name is Clifford, I guess. We're just gonna call you Clifford. You're gonna be Clifford, the big red dog. You're gonna have your big red pointy ears. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be adorable. Oh my god. It's gonna be adorable. Just gonna say. It's gonna be adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. And you like to paint a big stompy stew all around the town. Ever since World War One. You've been you've been avoid you've been annoying me since World War One. It's World War Two now. It's always been like a good 30 years already that you've bothered me. No, not really. Um We've been traveling back in time. Uh, but no. It's interesting. 
You just a, you're just an interesting you're just an interesting specimen. You're an interesting specimen. Uh, but I killed your posse like so many times, Clifford. Like you know, oops, oopsie daisy. All right, what do we have here? I'm just quite curious. Okay, nothing exciting. <laughs> oh. Child's taking a shine to me. Yeah, clearly. Because you plugged him you in to you first. Friend, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. Did you now? You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I was tired, dude. I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. Oh, yeah, really. Sam, I owe you an apology. Yeah? Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. Bitch ass. I found some records from ten years ago. Oh, did you now? A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. Avoid her. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. Is this me? The Is that my wife? Was wiped off the map. Is that my wife? Made nothing but a big crater in the end. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. Hmm. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. Aww. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. Lucy. They were going to Aww, name Lucy. Lucy. Didn't happen. But it did. Lucy. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You want to shut the fuck up? So Calm that down. was who was in the photo. Take a seat. Okay, because at first I was like, isn't that Amelie in the photo? I was like, nah, it's got to be someone else. Now we know it's his wife, Lucy. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. Oh, really? The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Huh? Artificial grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. Oh, okay, because that makes it sense. A birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. A car. A dead man. Hence your name. Being born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB2. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. Okay. You see now why you claim you're so special. Ugh. The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. Mm -hmm. Because I knew you were coming for me. Mm -hmm. I've never felt that before. Well, connected to someone, 
anyone. Well, how did it feel? Let's talk. Let's converse. Tell me how you really feel. Um, okay. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Uh, Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Oh, yes. It wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. Ooh. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Okay. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. Oh, yes. Look at him at this joint. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. <laughs> I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Okay, weird ass. All right. Well, all right. Well, it seems that Clifford Unger is the full name of that soldier there. So we're gonna we're gonna take a shower because we we apparently need to. Can't skip it. So. What? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. Okay. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Okay. Uh, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our car, all occupy the same world. All right. Our souls, our car, have beaches all their own. Yeah. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. Yeah. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. Okay. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Don't you ever just sometimes like to sit down while you take a shower? I mean, that's, that's me. It's fun. Because it's like, ah, I do that sometimes. No, no one needs to see that. Now the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Yes. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. Ah, oh, really? I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. Okay. Interesting. So the person that was talking in there, I believe that is who, that is Hartman. Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. You still want me to take a shower? When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Okay. He <laughs> just like, fuck. All right, well. Hartman is one of the scientists, kind of like Mama, you know, you know, who's like, you know, researching, doing stuff and all that kind of funny dicky stuff. So anyway, um, John, is that you? Yeah, John. What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want to repeat of last year. Wait a minute. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming. Is that Die Hardman? Is that Die Hardman? What were you doing? Alright, well. Sam, the west side of that region is. Alright. Beyond it is edged. The vast bat. Oh, God. The Reaper and remember, but Hartman was. Alright. See, here's Hartman. Alright. Blah 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 blah. Alright. 
that is Hartman. He is a scientist. He does research and shit. So I will happily do this delivery. That's fine. It's only one delivery. And and then that is it. This episode is done. So, um Do I want to fabricate a a vehicle to make this, you know, as fun as ever? Um, we're gonna be con convert. We're gonna be, you know, making our way through more mountains. So, uh, sure, that's fine. I'll, I'll make a defensive bike. That's fine. Um, I think I'm good with all my weapons. That's pretty much good. Yeah, just make the bike. That's fine. That's fine. Um, actually, put that in the garage. I'm going to borrow. Someone's truck. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Um, what do we have here? Empty. Uh, off world. Used. Offload. Use. Offload. Oh, there's a body I have to carry. Son of a bitch. What in the fuck? Okay. All right, well, uh, let's carry the corpse because, yay. Fun times, uh, do to do, do And then they said, he said, uh, da, 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 Oh my God. All right, equip. It's fine. Uh, hang on tool rack, I'm fine with the shotgun. Armor plate. Attached to suit. Wow, none of this has been done. All right. Well, let me just do this real quick. Skeesh, skeesh, skeesh. All right. Uh, do 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 do. All right. Perfect. Why? Just why was it not on? Just why was this? Why was none of this like odd me? That's my thing. All right. All right, so we have, I th I think that's everything. I mean, I've got the body. That's what matters. That's what matters, we have the body. Oh, hey, Lochna, what you doing? All right, Sam, take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Be funny if these haw of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. Oh. Okay. So we're carrying Mama as a corpse now. Cool. Okay. I just I just had to be clear. I thought you just wanted me to carry a corpse for fun, just so the scientists can you know discover what could possibly be amazing about it. <laughs> Order All right. Deliver Mama's corpse. Sounds like fun. Yep. <laughs> the corpse is in the front seat with me. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, so we need to go to Hartman's lab. All right. Like I said, this is the other delivery that we need to do in this episode, and then episode seven, we're done. And then we move on to episode eight. Let me go from there. Two. It's just right up there. We're fine. We'll be okay. I'm gonna cross this bridge. Cross the crew. Uh oh. Careful now. Alright, just have to remember how I did this. I think we went up this way. Yes. Okay. Just got to, just have to remember. Just have to remember. Gotta be smart about this too. Because I don't want my car to go kablam. Got it. Uh, I know. Oh, come on! Oh, you piece of shit! Damn, you piece of fucking... Oh, my God! There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we did it. We got it. We still got it. Oh, we still got it. Okay. I see your thing there. Okay. Not far. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I hear... Oh, it's about the time call, isn't it? Oh, good. Oh, good, good. Will you go up the mountain? Will you stop skidding? 
Oh my god. You are making me not happy. Oh, uh, this is probably the worst way to go. Uh, you know what? Skittish. Alright, come on. Yeah, you can use a little one juice. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, no, 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 Fine, fuck you. Okay. That is the last time I ever take a fucking vehicle. Did you just explode? Oh my god. Okay, fine. That is the last time I ever take a fucking vehicle on this expedition. <laughs> Especially up in the mountains. Oh my god. Alright. Jesus Christ. Like, I want to save myself the time. And take a fucking vehicle so we can just go zoom over there. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Lou. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you. You don't like it when I run out of stamina. Almost. You know. I know you don't like it. It's not. It's not a fun time. I understand. I apologize. Let's just safely make our way up through the storm. But do 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 do. Just safely go, yes, safely go. You got this, Sam. Yes, you got it, Sam. I've got it. Yes, I've got it. Yes, I've got it. Still got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at you climb. Yeah, such a pain in the ass. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. All right, let's rest. <laughs> and all the carbonation out of my system. Good, breathe. <laughs> okay. Good. We got this. Got it. All right. Boop -doo. What do you mean in my reverse trike? Since when do I have a reverse trike? No, Sam. Sam. No. Nobody. Stop it. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. It is not that difficult. How much further? No, that's not far at all. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. Up the mountain. Come on. Up the mountain. There you go. Good, Sam. Oh, look at that. Yes, look at you go. You're such a good boy. Yes, Sam. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do me a solid here, please. Come on, do me just a little bit of a solid here. And you go up there and caress this mountain. Just a little bit more. Come on. Yes, you have. Oh my god. You fucking moron. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright. We're gonna have to go up another way. Because you're stupid. Okay. Come on. This way. Oh, this isn't the way. Oh, where the fuck you want me to go? Oh, this is not okay. Why are you kneeling? You're not supposed to, like, kneel down like that. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is fine. Okay. No. What the fuck? Excuse me. Oh, for the love of P. What the hell? What's wrong? Why can't you do something as simple as climb up a fucking man? Okay. I can do this in a fucking RP. Jesus. Let me just see where my destination's fucking at. Oh, it's over there. Son of a bitch. All right. All right, I'm gonna take the fun way. We're gonna take the fun, stupid way. Yes, we're gonna take the fun and exhilarating way. And you know and always know that you will love. Yes. All right, come on. Come on. Yes, there may be some BTs, but we got a baby now, so we can detect them. So we're good. We good now. We don't have to worry about Jack, okay? We're fine. Alright. Do, 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 do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, I see. You want me to go up there? I don't understand why. Just, I'm taking a more fun path to get to my destination. Okay, I'm taking a more fun path. Oh, is that it right there? Oh my god. That's it right there. What the fuck? Okay. Oh. 
More music. Oh, I thought that was like I had low blood levels. I was like, excuse me, I'm not passing out. What an appropriate song title for this sequence right now. Without you, mama. Oh my god, without you, I'd be lost. I wouldn't be connected. I wouldn't be here and there. And like Clifford always says, without my BB, I'd be lost. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Let me make my way up these fucking stairs. Jesus Christ. Alright. There was probably, I mean, like, damn. This is some lab you've got at heart, man. Wow. All right. Wow, this is pretty. Ooh, is that a fire? Wow, look at your fireplace. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. All right. That's the... Thank God. Oh, are you now? <laughs> uh, who cares if the body was damaged like 7% or whatever the fuck how much it was? Because it's gonna get burned! Okay. Mm. Oh yes! Let me feel all up in here. Okay. I feel all up in this business. All right, perfect. Wow, amazing, amazing thermal pad. Ooh. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Okay. Good work. Okay, I shall take the corpse to Hartsman, and we shall go from there. Yes, keep on keeping on. Excuse me. Oh my god. I hate. Oh. See, my dogs downstairs do not like this at all either. Man, they're just barking up a storm. I don't understand. Just gonna turn down my game just a little bit because, oh my god. What happens when the timer goes out for until resuscitation? Um. Oh, that's a pretty photo, Hartman. Right, I'm turning up my game again because look. Uh-oh. Hardman. Cardiac arrest. Oh. Shit. Administering shock. Stand clear. <sighs> what? You were in cardiac arrest, and then you did a boop -boop. You want to explain to me? Well, you certainly caught me with my pants. Until on. death? What? Glad you could make it, Sam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. He has an AED attached to himself. The fuck? You want to explain to me why you want to die and then come back to life? You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. 
I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. Why? 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. What the fuck? Okay. This is how I live. This is my life. Okay. So, while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. Okay. 218,549. You're weird. You like to die. Okay, that's fine. I don't understand. I see myself in that crater. Okay. My wife and my child. Okay. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. Uh huh. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Oh. Mine is an especially unusual case. Okay. Want to explain? Care to see heart rents heart shape heart? <laughs> No, you really should. Uh. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea. You're so the weird, okay. It's real, and they are on it. Okay. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time. And search for them. Okay, I just have to pause, because... What the fuck? You want... To kill yourself tw six, 20 times a day and then come back to life 20 times also. Like, you want to kill yourself like X amount of times, like during the day. Like, the fuck? Okay, first off, the fuck. Why? I get it. You want to go to your beach so you can, you know, find your wife and child, but like, the fuck, dude? The fuck? <laughs> like,. Like, who, who casually just walks up to you and says, hello, how are you doing today? Oh, um, I'm going to die in, like, you know, three minutes. So, like, <laughs> I'm going to pull the plug in, like, three minutes. I'll come back later. And we can talk later. <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, that's my thing. Like, no. Like, I don't even understand as to why the hell you like doing this. You're weird. You're just a... You are a weird, strange man. Strange. Day after day after day. Oh my god, shut up. I don't, I don't care. to say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. Oh, is that so? So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? Mm. I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone. So is that why you kill yourself? I decided to find my family make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death <laughs> is reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. Okay. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. Oh, okay. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. Great. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Whoa. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like BT's tether. Okay, you want to explain a little bit? Just a little bit? Yeah. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Yeah. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. 
Okay, you're gonna die I in five minutes. Okay, that's fine. And look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. You're so weird. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others. You're so weird. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Okay. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Great! The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Good question. Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A hmm. collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Okay. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Interesting. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you're in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. Huh. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Okay. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. Okay, goodbye. I hope you have a nice death. Five, four, three, Bye. Two. Okay. You're weird. You want me to look around? I might as well just wait until he wakes up. Like the fuck? I'm just gonna look at you. Ew. He's a dead. He's a dead. He's a daddy do. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, you're so weird. Like, look at you. Like, who does this willingly? You have to be an insane person to do this willingly. To kill yourself and then to go from there. I just don't understand. I might as well just wait until you come back from the dead so we can talk again. Might as well just wait. Might as well just wait. Like the fuck? Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, you're so weird. Wow, these BTs frozen. Yeah, you're so cool, dude. Oh my god. Mama, how would you... How, how do you feel about, you know, this? Yes, I'm standing in a room with two dead people. This is ridiculous. I just, I have no words to say. If you want to continue to kill yourself just to find your folks on the beach, fine. That's you, man. That's you. You're just, you're just, you're crazy. You are a crazy human being. You're crazy. You're just crazy. Oh my God. Can one minute go any faster? Jesus Christ. Oh, nice booty. Ooh, nice booty, BT. Ooh, 
Ooh, what are you trying to, trying to reach for? Ooh, you're trying to grab something. Oh, boy. Ooh, what's this? Wow. A whale skeleton. Fun. Exciting. Is this just a, an area where I can just get as many legs? Because apparently... Ooh, is that mail? You need to read your mail, dude. All right, 30 seconds. Ugh. Like, here's my, here's my thing. Ugh, I don't, I just, I don't. Ugh. You know what, I'm just gonna stop talking because he's gonna come back in 10 seconds. So we'll be, we'll be hunky dory when he comes back from the dead in three seconds. Hi, how was your journey? No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? Uh, I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. Sleep <laughs> <laughs> is the tricky one. Uh -huh. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Okay. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. I like watch music. Films. Oh, I watch yeah. films. I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Oh, good. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Or 20 minutes of love. The Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> hmm. But oh, honestly. Man. The 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. Okay. I'm already dead. Clearly, could you kill yourself? I have a feeling. So many times. I lost my family in an accident. Well, <laughs> I never expected you to open up to me. Okay, no, I'm not gonna open. Oh, thank you. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I'm just repositioning myself. Just give me a sec. Oh, yeah? You want to talk about it? Until you die? I was in the ICU having heart surgery. Out of town. In the city. Hmm. Okay. When it was clear that I was going to pull through... My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. Uh-huh. And then they were caught in the void outs. Oh. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And uh. my life support. Uh. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> This is fun. Look at all these people swimming. Yeah, at least they look six feet apart. The two void outs were there. Uh, okay. What happened? What's going on? She told you. Oh. 
I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Ugh. Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Is he coming back to life? Don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. Ah, okay. So is that why you and do it exactly? The last time I saw my family. Is that why you it's exactly do it that way? That we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. Hmm. It defines me. I am Hartman. That's, that's that's why. And god damn it, everyone's fucking crying every time they tell a story. I've walked the beaches of others. Oh my god. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um you have any family photographs, son? Pity. Oh, great. He's gonna die in five minutes. Great. Tell me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach. Oh. See, um, my dog's like, no. Don't die. Stop dying. There's a chaperone station in this area. Mm. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Okay, Armament that's fine. Proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Okay. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. Hmm. When the dinosaurs died out. Yes. Nice geologic time reference. The last ones lived in geologic here age. And here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Ah. Okay. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Okay. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. Ah, okay. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. Hmm, okay. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. <laughs> Sometime later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Okay. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading consuming many of my colleagues as well as a chiral way station okay the whole incident defied explanation i think higgs is the blame i don't know but we needed that way station it was essential to expanding the chiral network westward that's why i'm asking you for your help in building a new one it won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. Okay. But a Knot is still a Knot. True that. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armony. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. <laughs> <laughs> he bored me so much. I, I, he, he was so boring. He just died. I'll unlock the door for you. Okay. Okay.
All right, well, I'll just let you die and then come back to life. I'll just let you go through that, like, endless cycle. Oh, boy. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Alright, sounds fine. I will deal with all of that. Oh my god. Our ultimate objective in the Yes, blah blah blah. Okay, that's all I have to say. Oh my god. Let me do all of that. Jesus. Alright, well. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. So, blah, 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 blah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I will do your deliveries. I will do your deliveries, don't you worry. Thermal pad. Okay. Indispensable gear for cold weather. Cool. Um, okay. I'll make four of those. Okay, that's fine. Um, do... Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be any irregular... Why do I have to carry more fucking bombs, dude? This is stupid. Oh my god, I just hate... I hate... I hate carrying your stupid antimatter bombs. This is stupid. All right, whatever. All right, I've got my thermal pads. Order All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to save, and I'm going to end this episode here because I will do these deliveries on the side just so I don't bother all of y'all with all that stuff. So I will do this all on the side. I just want to stand outside just to admire. Just to admire. Just to admire the pretty view. Okay. <sighs> okay. So a lot happened in this episode. We finished episode seven which was absolutely fabulous. We got to understand who this soldier is. His name is Clifford, Clifford Unger. That is who this guy is, and he's related to Lou, uh, Sam's BB, from you know various reasons. So we're, gonna, we're continuously learning more and more about the relationship that they had and why this BB is so interesting. Ah, shut up, let me talk. So. And all that good stuff. And we met Hartman for like the first time, like in a physical presence. And we love to. We learned that he loves to kill himself and all that good stuff. So, this episode is the last episode that has like a lot of deliveries. Like this has six orders of deliveries. And then once we hit episode nine, from there to episode fourteen, it is just one delivery for each episode. It's a continuous like one delivery thing for each, for the episode, for each episode. So this is the last little hoorah that I just have to get myself through. And then it's pretty much nice and easy going all out towards the end of this game. Very exciting stuff is coming. And I can't wait to see, cause we're getting very close to Edge Not City to rescue Amelie. Something that we have been needing to do for Yes, I'm sorry. I should have you just relax. I'm sorry. You have not had, you know, a break in God knows how long. Something that we have been want needing to do since episode two. We have been trying to get from the East Coast to the West Coast. It takes a toll. It takes a motherfucking toll. Like Jesus. So, we will get to more stuff in the next episode. But I'm going to just in between do all of the deliveries that I need to do for this episode just to catch names back on track. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Death Stranding. Please feel free to leave a like. If you liked what you saw in this episode, feel free to ring the bells for all of its purposes. Let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Clifford the Big Red Soldier? <laughs> I'm just going to call him that. I'm just going to call him Clifford the Big Red Soldier because he just reminds me of like the Big Red Dog. He's making a stompy stuff. Like, literally, he was stomping on the ground trying to find me with his posse. Like, no. Like, no, dude. 
no, no. So, you know, it's just, it's really, it's really interesting to, you know, see and go experience through all of that and stuff. And fucking Hartman killing himself, like, just to find his people on the beach and then coming back to life every, like, you know, however many times he said he does it a day. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. I mean, hey, he can do whatever he wants, but just, no. Just no. I want to hear your thoughts, though, on that. But as for right now, as I sit here and I rest my silly little butt on this ground here, this has been Raisin Brand, and thank you so much for watching this episode of Death Stranding, and I shall see you in the next video.